And welcome back to Summit Sunrise. I'm here in the studio with Paul Cohen from the Breck Fine Art Gallery and his visiting artist, David Jackson, all the way from Utah to do a show Monday and Tuesday at the gallery. So welcome, nice to have you on Thank this you. morning. And I know this is your first time to the county, right? It is, it is, it's, uh, and it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a, well, summer is always a good time to come up here. And I would think, especially for you, because looking at some of the paintings that you brought to show us, wildlife is kind of your theme that you stick with. Well, it's, it's expanded quite a bit over the years. It used to be all wildlife, but yeah. there's so many beautiful things out there. I, you know, I, I like to paint, so yeah. I want to paint anything that looks good to me, and if it'll hold still, it's on the canvas. Yeah, well, it's funny because these, uh, you know, some of these samples that you're going through right now and the ones that we have here in the studio, I mean, these look like images that could have been taken from Summit right. County. Yeah, that's, that's true, and, and a lot of my uh, uh, landscape paintings do come from the Colorado area. All right, so. great. And for people that haven't been to the Breck Fine Art Gallery, it is an amazing, warm space. And now it's not typical that we have a show on Monday and Tuesday. No, so this, this is, is kind of the first treat. time, which is why I'm as casual as you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not working today. Yeah. <laughs> After here, I'm going hiking or something. Oh, well, but exciting. No, it is. It's, um, David's been very busy. I think he had a show in our Vale Gallery, our Beaver Creek Gallery. Mm -hmm. Where are you going from here afterwards? Uh, my next show will be back in Utah, and okay. that's in, that's a first week in September okay. I have another one man show. So, so we're catching you on the last leg of your so Colorado I'm, tour. So I'm, I'm running out of painting <laughs> so I, I'm painting like crazy and, and I'm loving every brush stroke though. Actually, we've got an amazing selection. We've got about 18 or 19 of his paintings. Oh wow. They have gallery. some great ones. They have some and awesome really ones. They beautiful. really do. Well what happened he sent a CD with what was available and I, I snuck we'll in. Smart. Them, he was smart. <laughs> Very smart. He, he says send these. <laughs> Don't wait just send these. They were all tens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so there's plenty of selection at the gallery, is when, what you're saying. When you run, when you run a fine art gallery and you've got sister galleries, you've got to get in quick. Actually, well, I'm but sure moments that's a moment. That's why he's you so gotta... successful with his gallery. <laughs> but no, they're beautiful, and of course, David will be painting fresh ones there as well, which is always exciting. People love to buy the one that's still wet or not even yeah. finished yet. So. Well, and I think it's just to to see the creative process is always cool, and people don't often get to to see that. Right. And it's so exciting to have a show well, I'm, during I'm the week. A, uh, I'm a retired art teacher, mm -hmm. and uh, so you know I like to get people involved. I mean, I'm used to having kids around, leaning over my shoulder, and <laughs> and you know, and I paint fast because I like to uh -huh. make things happen very quickly. And, well, and so when people are watching, I get them involved, and sometimes I might hand them a brush and oh, that's say, so you know, cool. help me right here while I do this, and <laughs> explain why I, why I'm doing things. And, well, so it's a, it's a learning process. Oh, absolutely. You really get to teach people as well. Yeah, so once, once a teacher, always a teacher. Once, yeah, that is very true. And so the show is going to be going on Monday and Tuesday, 11 to 6. If you just remind people where the gallery sure, is. Sure, we're at 421 South Main Street, which is right at the south end of town, opposite the Hyatt Main Street station. Purple awning, you can't miss us, you know, two entrances. So, And we're open 10 to 10. Good. You know, seven days a week, there's something we're going to have refreshments and snacks, and it's fun. You know, we're family oriented. Actually. Yeah. We love to have kids in the gallery. In fact, we had a little family in on the other night, and this little boy was about two, and he came in the back door, and blonde, curly hair, and he looked around and he went, Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, it's, it's wow. like walking into a museum. I mean, yeah. you, you just get to see neat. such a wealth of, you know, different artistic creations, and it's just, it's a nice break from the hustle and bustle of Main Street. You go in there, and it seems like everything slows down a little bit. We don't sell t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know, not, the, there are a few t-shirt shops in Breckenridge, oh, yeah. I've, I've noticed, so it's nice to kind of see something on the uh, on the more mellow side. So exciting, you're going to be in the studio painting tomorrow and, and today. And, oh, and, and, today. and today. I'm yes. sorry, I forgot that today is Monday. Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I, I promise um, to behave, so uh, I, you know, I sing and dance around while I'm painting, and I, uh, I Great. promise to behave. <laughs> well, and then hopefully, you know, you'll have some time to go around and maybe get some inspiration from some of the surrounding area as yeah. well. I'm sure I will. Well, great. I'm so It's so great to have you on the Thank show. You. And Thank if you. you are looking to maybe get in touch with your more artistic side, you can go over and see David, who will be painting today and tomorrow at the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. 
just on the north end of Main Street, on the south side of south Main side. Street. <laughs> Mondays are a hard one for me. So great to have you on. Thank Beautiful you. to see some of your paintings. I'm always glad when you guys bring examples because it makes yeah. it so much more easier to talk about when you actually can see like how beautiful it is. So, well, I hope you guys can have a great turnout and hopefully the rain will stay away so we can have everyone just kind of perusing Main Street for the whole day. It'll be great. All right, well, Paul and David, nice to have you on. Thank you. We are going to take a quick break here on Summit Sunrise, but we've got much more to come, including some talk with Rhonda from the Raven Golf Course, so stay tuned.